The reason I'm here today in Southampton is that it's part of the Three Companies project. We're visiting Southampton University Hospital Trust. We're going to be trying to talk to as many workers as possible that work for MediRest, so one of the companies that we're targeting. Um, and these are catering staff and cleaning staff and we are going to be talking to them about conditions, talking to them about things that we're not happy about and trying to really sort of unpick the issues that are important issues. <laughs> Hi, this is our base today. We're here at Southampton Hospital, going around talking to all the MediRest workers, finding out what it's like for them working here. This is the base where everyone's coming and going from. It's the command centre, basically. We've got all the leaflets here for people who they come and see. If we, if we catch people in the corridors and they're a bit busy, we're going to send them down here. So people come down here, they know what they're earning already and we just want them to see what they would get if they were getting the pay that they should be getting. Yeah, shall I do addresses as well? When the lads won't use the cleaning toilet, the actual toilets for the staff uses the public ones because MediRest won't clean them toilets and he sees the sex stuff up the walls, he sees the manky. Quarter to 11, 11 o'clock and 4 o'clock are when the, when the breaks are and people go into the eatery. So that her vacuum cleaner had broken. Yeah, and she was going to ask the ward system yeah. to yeah. order a new one because the ward system gets quick. Yeah. I said, well, don't you ask MediRest? She said, oh, no, yeah. they, they don't get, never do it when I ask them. Yeah. yeah, in the ceiling. In the ceiling tiles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so they could make sure that the next time they'd have one. How much would it really cost them to be given the new mops? Mm. I mean, it can't be that much money, can it? Nothing like all over. You've got to weed through the water and get to where it can just be easy. Someone's nearly fed. Yeah. Just so they didn't have safety shoes, so they strapped cardboard to the bottom of their shoes so that you wouldn't slip. Mm. I'm worried that. Even though they, they don't think they've got enough staff, they're worried that if they then get more staff into cover, they'll then lose hours. So it's like a catch-22 because yeah. they'll then lose money and they don't yeah, think they, they can cope. lack of cleaning equipment other than just mops and things. Yeah. But, um, like detergent. Where the water steam comes out. Right, we've got pledges signed 149. <laughs> <laughs> Southampton doing our organising and we ended the week on a real high with 254 pledges from the workers which is just fantastic and I think 49 new members as well so there is a real feeling there that workers wanted to talk to us and they want to get organised so brilliant.